We got an important video that I want to give y'all today, man. For those that need a trucking job that want to get paid a lot more, watch this video, man. And I guarantee you, it'll educate you and it'll give you some more clarity on how many companies that's out here that's still paying drivers and respecting them at the same time. Let's get it. What up, world? It's your boy T Trucker coming back with another video. Today is going to be a different topic today. Um, today, we're going to be talking about the company that I work for. And uh, this can be one of your uh, opportunities to come over here to this company. Um, I am going to give this company two thumbs up because since I have been here so far, man, um, they have treated me with the utmost respect. They have given me the opportunity to run comfortably in my own lanes. You know, told me everything that, you know how when some companies you talk to, you talk to them before you come to the company and it's all lies. And it's all BS. But this company right here, sorry about this thing, man. I want to let it up, but I got stuff on top of my bed, as y'all can see right there. So, but anyway, uh, like I said, this video is going to be different. This is um, a video to give other drivers um, some type of um, clarity on which company they should go with. Now, I'm going to say this before we get into the topic. This company, well, most companies that you work for, rather you have experience or no experience. So, I'm going to speak on no experience first. People that don't have much experience, it is what it is. You're going to have to... Uh, you got to do like everybody else. You have to, you know, get with the uh, companies that really don't really pay as well. That you really have to just do everything they tell you. Most companies are like that. They're, you know, that you come over to that company. You got to do exactly what they tell you. Even with this company, man, it's not my truck. I still got to do what they say, but they just give you an opportunity to be free a little bit. But like I said when you don't have as much experience you have to go with companies like Snyder uh, Warner uh, JB Hunt now I don't think JB Hunt I think JB Hunt requires you to have some experience but you know what I'm talking about the companies out there that don't require any experience, new students and stuff like that now for the people that do have experience I think once you get that experience, once you get that one year experience, I think you should try companies that paying uh, what you worth. Um, going to these companies that's not really paying you not the money that you're worth, it's just going to be a waste of your time. Me personally, go to the companies that's paying you what you worth. You know, if you go out and you sacrifice, you don't been away from your family, you don't did what it take to get to this level, I think you are worth more than what they say. Now, me, I've been doing it for 10 years. I should be at a higher level than where I'm at today. But I'm comfortable long as you're not paying me starter pay, you know. Like, I ain't going to say I'm just going to accept anything. But, like I said, as long as you, I'm making a certain amount. Now, with this company, it's a lot of companies. Now, I'm going to say this. Once you get your experience, you should try companies that really are small. Small companies. 
Some people might have three trucks. Some people might have four. Some people might have even 10, 20. You know, but when you start getting with those big companies that have two, three hundred trucks, a thousand trucks, they kind of treat you like a number. And you don't want to get treated like a number because you are an experienced driver. You have to demand your respect. You know, I didn't know all this stuff, man. You know, uh, now that I have experience, even when I knew I had experience, I was just still trying to uh, work with the companies that was not giving me no respect. That's why you see so many companies on my YouTube page because I was steady going to companies that was big and I was putting myself in a position as a new driver, JB Hunt, Swift, uh, Warner, all these places, they're not going to pay you what you're worth. So, going with those companies, big companies, they're not going to pay you what you're worth. So, that was my, that was my mess up. That was my mess up uh, with dealing with big companies. So, that being said, we're going to get to the whole topic of the video. This video is going to be all over the place. And I, I hope that y'all can understand what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm really just trying to tell y'all about the company that I work for. You know, if you want to come over here to this company, I'm going to try to put it in the description down below. I've been trying to to, to put things in the, in the description down below. I do not know how to do that. I've been trying and trying and people have been telling me. I'm like, man, I still don't know how to do it. Put stuff in the, the description so you can click on it. And go check it out so you know what i'm talking about if it don't be there then you know what i'm talking about it's not hard to just google it and find out where it's at the company is called yankee freight system i'm gonna say it again yankee freight system the company offers 75 cents a mile 75 cents a mile they run Midwest, I, I think they do a little bit uh, Southeast and they do the Northeast. Now, I'm going to say this. Since I've been here, my my DM has been giving me the utmost respect. So if you watch this video, man, I appreciate that. But when I got here, they sent me all, all the way out of uh, Massachusetts. Y'all can go back and watch that video. I don't know which one it is. I just post videos. It's on there. You just got to go back and look at one of my videos. But when I went out there, I wasn't cool with it because I don't really like going that far up into Massachusetts. But I would do it because I'm a runner. I'm a trucker. But when I talked with my DM and I told him, man, I, I don't really like doing uh, past New York. I really don't even like doing New York. You know, but I told him, I said, man, if you can keep me in the Virginia area, man, that would be great. I'm going to be honest. That would be awesome. So he was like, cool. You know what I'm saying? So that, that really gave me a lot more room to breathe, you know, because I'm comfortable in those areas. So when I get in the truck, I know, oh, is he going to send me up to Massachusetts? Are he going to send me up to Maine? Is he going to send me up to all the places I'm not comfortable in? I mean, don't get me wrong. I would do it. I have done it before. I have drove all over this country. You know, I just do not like riding in certain places. So, like I said, the company offers 75 cents a mile. They run south a little they run definitely Midwest. You're going to definitely run Midwest. I'm just going to tell you that because the company is based out of Chicago, Illinois. If you don't know, uh, you're going to run up in the Northeast. If you like running Maine, they're going to run you up there. I'm trying to think of everything that I can tell y'all. They have great trucks. I'm going to tell you that right now. The company that I work for is Yankee Freight System. They got another company that I think they're all together. That they're like 
when you're dealing with the the, the Russians, I think they, they're not Russian. They kind of like, um, I can't really think of the name of the people, but they sound like Russians. If you truck drivers know what I'm talking about, then you know who I'm talking about. But, because I asked them, was they Russian? They said they're not Russian. So, um, they do have decent trucks, man. Their trucks... Uh, as y'all can see in my video, I did a, um, I did a, uh, two other trucks. So y'all seen the truck. Y'all know what they look like. I will be doing an inside tour of this truck, which I have already done so before. But I'm going to do another one for the do for those that have not seen the video. I'm going to do another one. I'm going to try to do that one maybe today or tomorrow because I just cleaned the truck up. So you can actually see what the truck actually looked like. The truck, the trucks over here, they're, they're governed at 75 miles an hour. Now, when I first came here, the trucks were 70 miles an hour. Well, the truck that I had, this truck, was 70 miles an hour. So when I talked to my uh, recruiter, he didn't have no problem setting it to 75, just like that. Man, that was that was good. That was that, that was that was awesome. Now, when I went home, another thing, when I went home, they don't bother you at all. When you on your home time. You don't get nobody bothering you. You know, that's that's like thing that I do not like when I'm at home with my family and people calling me on the phone about this, about that. Don't disturb me in my home time. I'm with my home time, I gave y'all my time. Now my family are gonna get some of my time, some more of my time. You know, they don't bother you. I'm just gonna let you know that. This this plastic is really Man, but they don't bother you, man. They have they have tablets. They have tablets in the truck. The app that they use is called uh, WhatsApp. It's called WhatsApp, and you get all your information on this WhatsApp. But it runs uh, parallel to the tablet that you have in your truck. So your dispatcher, your dispatcher, you know, he gives you a load on your on your on your phone on your app, and. You do like your uh, pre-trip and all that stuff on your tablet. So it's simple, man. Another thing that's uh, that's great about this company, they do not have no cameras. Because I know you drivers, y'all was waiting on me to say that. So I want to cover everything in this video so y'all would know exactly uh, everything before you come over here. They don't have cameras. Now, you do have places up here, well, not here, places in Chicago do have, like, companies that are paying with this, month, this amount of money, and they have cameras. This company do not have any cameras. So, don't come over here asking questions to somebody, y'all got cameras, they don't have none. So, you ain't got nothing to worry about. They do run, like, I'm going to be honest with you, if you're not a... Uh, if you're not a 500 mile runner, don't come over here. You know, when I say 500 mile, I mean like if you, they're not gonna run you in a wall now. They're not gonna run you in a wall, but if you're not like a 600 mile runner, 500 mile runner, you could come over here, but you ain't gonna really make no money. You know, they, they're trying to get you at a 3,000 mile a week. So you can bring home at least two, twenty two hundred dollars a week. My check, I will put it in the description. You know what? I'm gonna show y'all real quick. I'm gonna show y'all since y'all think I'm playing. I'm gonna show y'all uh, what I made right here. If y'all can see that. Focus, y'all see right there. I made two thousand and two thousand and ten dollars, I believe. Now two two thousand nineteen, two two nineteen. And as y'all can see right there, it's seventy five cents a mile. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but anyway. 75 cents a mile. They do uh, 10.99. They you can either do 10.99 or 
Or you can do like a W-2, I believe. Don't get me wrong, I, I don't know exactly. I believe it, I know, I know for a fact it's a 1099. So you have to do your own taxes. But you might want to get, you know, when you call them, um, talk to them yourself and they'll tell you if it's a 1099 or a W-2. Well, I know it's, I know it's a 1099, I don't know if it's a W-2 or not. So I don't want to give you all the wrong answer. But they make pretty good. I mean, you make pretty good over here. As long as you come over here and you run, you don't turn down no loads. Because I read the, I read the um, comments on this job and they had all, a lot of comments that was good. Like, it was more, it was like 90% good and like 10% bad. And every time they, if you go back and you do your research and you see that people that did the bad comments, the company actually went on there and said something about that driver. So, for the ones that's out here speaking on the company, as far as what I witness or deal with right now since I've been here, I've been here this week will be a month. Yeah, Monday will be a month, and then Friday will be like a month and a week. So I only been here like a month and some change. But since I've been here, the company has treated me with the utmost, uh, utmost respect. You know, um, but you know, some companies are like that. They treat you good and then they start doing, they start doing bad stuff. Which I hope they don't because I hate when I start liking companies and then, and then they just start just doing weird stuff, man. I mean, I'm not in, I'm not in the business to keep going from job to job. That's not something I want to do. Before I started driving trucks, I was a maintenance man at Fort Bennett, Georgia. It's a military base, and I was out there for at least three years, you know, and before that, I was, I used to gra cut grass for about six years, you know, out at Fort Bennett. I'm, most of my jobs that I worked for was out of Fort Bennett. It was on the main post on the military base. So when I came into to trucking, trucking was just a total different lane. I'm being, I'm being honest with you. Anybody that don't understand trucking, do your research before you do it. And a lot of people gonna judge you, cause I see it in the comments. Man, this your this your this your third job, man. This 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 this, bro. You don't know nothing until you come over here. Like, come on, like, you can't judge a person if you if you didn't experience nothing he's going through, you know. You can say what you want, but you think I'm just out here just going from this company to this company just to be going, you know? And I know for a fact that a lot of people say that all the companies are the same. They might be, but those recruiters, they'll lie to you. They'll tell you things just to get you in the door just because they finna get paid off of you. And then when you get in the door, and then you find out the company is some, you know what I'm saying? It's too late, you with the company. Now you like, man, I don't, I'm not feeling this. And then sometimes it'll be your DM, like JB Hunt. It'll be your DM that's giving you bull crap when you know you run. When you know you out here running your butt off, the, the DM always give you a problem. Give me my load and let me go. That's all I need from you. But anyway, like I said, I just want to come over here and give y'all an update. I have made it to my uh, my destination. I'm over here in uh, Louisiana. And um, I'm here a little early, me and this other driver. So we got to wait until it's what now, four o'clock. Yeah, about four o'clock. So we got to wait to seven. I'm just gonna lay back in here and watch a couple movies on my tablet. Yes, sir. And uh, hopefully they'll, you know, get at us pretty soon. But anyway, like I said, for those that subscribe to my channel, I appreciate y'all a lot. I appreciate that. Uh, 
Don't forget to hit that bell and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share whatever you can do to get this video out, man, because not only this video helps me, it'll help other drivers. You know, other drivers will see this channel and they will say, you know what? This driver right here, man, he for the he for new drivers and drivers that need help. You know, not for people that just want to talk bad on you. You know what I'm saying? He he a real good person to help other people in this industry. You know. But like I said, the last thing I'm gonna say is the company is called Yankee Freight System. Yankee Freight System. They out of Chicago, Illinois. So if you want to come on board, hit your Google, type in Yankee Freight System. You can put my name. You might can do my truck. You know what? Y'all can just do my truck. Truck number. My truck number is 336. And uh, tell them I sent you. Say trucks 336 sent you to uh, apply for that company. And they'll take care of you, man. But anyway, man. It's your boy T-Trucker, man. I'm out, man. Peace.